Greetings and thank you for the opportunity to come to you today and spend these few moments in God's Word. We trust that each and every day as you listen to these short uh, messages, you are strengthened, you are encouraged. And, you know, if you are, then tell others about it. Tell them to, you know, listen to these messages. So they can be helped. And especially this week, uh, as we are focusing on receiving healing through God's Word, just call somebody, call a few people who uh, need healing in their body, uh, God's healing in their bodies, and tell them to listen to these messages and learn how to receive healing through the Word of God. Today, I want to bring our attention to this fact that as we want to receive healing through the Word, a very important action needs to take place. That is, faith has to be built up in our hearts and released in order to receive healing through the Word of God. Now, that can happen in a moment of time. Sometimes it may take a few days. Sometimes it can happen instantly. But when faith is built up and faith is released, then healing will take place. Let's look at an example in Acts 14, verses 8 through 10. Apostle Paul is in Lystra. It says that in Lystra, uh, a certain man uh, without strength in his feet was sitting, a cripple from his mother's womb who had never walked. This man heard Paul speaking. Paul, observing him intently and seeing that he had faith to be healed, said with a loud voice, Stand upright on your feet. And he leapt and walked. So here's a man who is crippled. He was born that way. He is hearing the message. He is hearing the word that Paul is preaching. And as that word is coming in, and obviously, you know, Paul must have been telling them about Jesus, about Jesus the healer, about Jesus the savior, about Jesus the one who forgives our sins, and Jesus the one who heals our diseases. And this man is listening, and that word is going into his heart, and faith is rising. He says, I believe it. I believe Jesus can do that for me. I believe Jesus is my healer. I believe it. And Paul sees that this man has faith to be healed. He tells him, stand up. In other words, come on, act your faith. Exercise your faith. Put your faith to work. And we know that we can exercise our faith through the words we speak, through the prayers we pray, and the actions we take. So we exercise our faith. And at that moment, the word we heard when acted upon, when believed and acted upon, will bring healing. So how do we receive healing through the word? We hear the word, let faith arise. We keep hearing the word, let faith arise. Then you act on that. How can you act on the word? You speak words of faith. You declare that it is done in before God through your prayers. And you do what you could not do. You know, you know just take simple steps of faith. However God leads you, you act your faith. And when you, we have heard the word, believed the word, act on the word, we receive our faith. Receive our healing through faith. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. That when we believe and act upon it, we will receive our healing. We pray for those listening, God. We pray many will receive their healing as they act upon your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.